Have you been searching for the perfect oatmeal chocolate chip recipe? Crunchy on the outside, chewy on the inside with lots of gooey chocolate? Today's your lucky day. My oatmeal chocolate chip recipe is super easy and foolproof. Hey, you're watching Preppy Kitchen, where I, John Cannell, teach you how to make delicious homemade dishes to share with your family and friends. These cookies will be ready before you know it. So let's get started. First off, one cup of all-purpose flour, 120 grams, into a large bowl. My scale has a delay, so you can't be too cavalier with the pour. You could have actually used a medium bowl. Half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of baking soda. The baking soda is gonna react with the acid in this cookie, which is the brown sugar, just in case you're wondering. Give it a quick whisk and set aside. If you're wondering, like, John, where, where's the substance of this cookie? It looks like you're adding nothing to this bowl. It's the oats. We're using a ton of oats in here, and they're gonna be so crispy on the outside, like nice and chewy in the middle. It's gonna be amazing. I can't wait. This is one of my favorite cookies. I don't know, I have like a whole bunch. It's one of the top cookies I like because it's like just that crispness on the outside, but the inside has a really great chew to it. Set the scale aside. It's time for your mixer with the paddle attachment or hand mixer in a big bowl. To my mixer, I'm adding half a cup or 113 grams of unsalted butter at room temperature. You can plop this down, lock it off, and beat it up a little bit. Now, to drizzle in a third of a cup of sugar, white granulated sugar, please like 66 grams. We're gonna add in two thirds of a cup of lightly packed brown sugar, in you go. Mix it up until it's nice and light and fluffy. After about a minute, time to pour in two teaspoons of vanilla and add in one room temperature egg. All right, once it's looking kind of silky and ribbony, just give that bowl a quick, quick scrape and we're gonna dump in that flour mixture. Dump it in. Mix it until it's almost combined. There's still some flour hanging out hither and thither, but we're gonna add in our oats and chocolate chips now. To this delicious concoction of butter, flour, and sugar, I'm adding one and a half cups of rolled oats, also known as old-fashioned oats. These will have like a lot of bite to them. And one and a half. See, now we're adding a lot of mass in. So many oats. So kind of up to you, you could add no chocolate chips if that's what you wanna do, or you could add in the full cup. I'm adding a cup, but reserving a good handful for later. We pop in them on top, make the cookies look nice and pretty. So add the remaining semi-sweet chocolate chips in, and now we're just gonna stir it together. Do all the work for me, machine. There you go. So now you see you have this really nice, rich mixture of oats. And you can just use your spatula just to like make sure everything's distributed. Give it one final mix. And now we're gonna pop this into the fridge for about an hour. You could make this a day ahead. They could live in the freezer and you could defrost them. There's tons of options. I'll go over the freezing part later. That's kind of fun. <laughs> Time to put that sleeping cap on and go night night in the refrigerator. See you soon. My cookie dough is chilling for about an hour, so it's time to pop off that top and get to scooping. You wanna have like heaping tablespoon sized pieces. It could be a bit bigger if you want a mega cookie, but you will also increase the bake time just by the by. Quick roll if needed and just pop it on. I'm using a silicone lined baking sheet, but a parchment one will work as well. You wanna space these out at least two inches. Give them some room to breathe. They will be spreading out in the oven a bit. These are ready to go into the oven at 375 Fahrenheit for eight to 10 minutes. The edge will be set. The center will be not set yet, but it'll continue to do so after you take them out. So just beware. <laughs> just by the by. Don't think I forgot about my reserved chocolate chips. Of course I didn't. So just pop a few on the top. It's really optional, but I feel it makes them look pretty. Pop a few chocolate chips on there, not on the baking sheet, on the cookie. Okay, now they're ready for the oven. If you like this recipe, check out my cookie playlist. Tons of cookies of all shapes and sizes, and there's bound to be several that you enjoy as well. But now it's time for a bite. That is just what you want in an oatmeal cookie. It is so crunchy on the outside, chewy, gooey, chocolate amazingness inside. Wow, that's amazing. If you like this recipe, hit that like button and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next cookie recipe.